All right, welcome back. Um, I do have to apologize. Um, I haven't made a video in a little while. Uh, just been super busy. Got a, kind of a lot on my plate. And I just thought I'd take a little break from it. Um, but I, I was doing the stream, the live stream with... Um, with my uh, my hobby model building fun uh, uh, club that I'm sort of with, um, and I said, well, I don't have a model paired or one picked out to work on, so I ch I said, you know what, maybe I'll work on doing some uh, some of the accessories I need for the Black Pearl uh, because I did place an order on AliExpress for. Uh, some of the parts I need, dead eyes, block and tackles, things like that. Um, unfortunately, they just, they they are lost in transit. I can't locate them. And at this point, I'm of the opinion I'm just not going to get them. Um, I'm okay with that. I mean, I, you know, it sucks. They, they, they still cost money. I mean, it is what it is. And the dead eyes alone, I need 120 of them. I think I paid close to $60 for those. Um... And I said, you know what? I don't want to place that order again. Uh, I'll try making my own. Now, I did do that with my uh, my Victory ship kit that I, I built a year or two ago. Um, <clears throat> the block, the Dead Eyes were of much smaller scale at the time. Um, so making them might have been a little more complicated. But uh, this this one is is uh, requiring eight millimeter. Uh, now, it was somewhere between 6 and 10 millimeter sized uh, dead eyes. Um, so I said, well, you know what? I'll give it a shot. Um, I, don't have a, I don't have a lathe or a mini lathe of any kind. Um, but I do have a drill press and I have, um, you know, I have drills lying around everywhere. So, and I happen to know that the chucks on those will open up to bigger than 8 millimeters. Um, so I've been working on that. And I, I, I made some pretty good progress. I would say within the span of an hour, I made 22 um dead eyes i need 120 so yes is a long ways to go um but we we basically were starting off with this this is um this is the blank dead eye without the holes um and then of course we have a finished dead eye with the holes and um they do have they do have the little groove hard to see i know and i apologize for that uh it does have the groove for the rope or the line to go through so that you know it looks the part. So I thought I would uh, maybe show how I do it. Uh, it's very simple. I did show once uh, in one of my uh, Black Pearl videos how I made the um, the belay pins and things like that using a drill uh, as a lathe. And um, it works quite well. So I thought, well, why not try it this way? Um, so we're going to go ahead and I'll put these away. We'll get set up and I'll, I'll do a quick I'll make a quick demonstration basically on 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 how I do this okay so I, I got my um, little station all set up here now this is gonna be difficult because the camera is kind of in my way but I, I think I can do it successfully um, basically I have um, just your usual dowel stock um, I forget what size it is but I know that when I measured it I, I found it was close enough to eight millimeters that I was I was happy with it um, keeping in mind of course that uh, the Black Pearl kit that I bought doesn't actually specify a size. So I, when I ordered the parts, I ordered 8 mil. I actually ordered 7 mil. Um, but Boiler Dan uh, said that in his uh, finished version of the Black Pearl, um, he used 8 millimeters. So I said, well, seven, 8 mil seems kind of big. I ordered 7. I'm glad I, I, I'm glad at some, in some ways it didn't arrive because I would be using 7 millimeter, but I think 8 millimeter is the right size. Um, so yeah, it, it measured out to uh, 8 millimeters. Um, so what I do is I cut off a little bit. We don't need a whole lot um, because it will be placed in the end of a drill chuck. Um, now you will have, you will be sacrificing some, and I'll show that in a minute. Um, you know what, I'll show it now. So we loosen the chuck, we pull it out. Now you'll see the end of that has been chewed into by the chuck. Um, so you're going to sacrifice a bit of this dowel. There's no way around it because you want it to hold firmly. 
Um, so we'll put that back in, tighten it down. Hopefully it stays in nice and straight. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So we got um, we got our dowel stock in. If you make it too long, as you're filing on it on the dowel, it bends and it does weird things, and eventually it'll fall right out of the chuck. Uh, so that's why you cut it down a bit. Now I usually cut it a little longer than this, but I've made a few off of this piece already. Um, so this is what we'll do. We'll go ahead and uh, I'll get started. I use um, two files and one saw blade, and I'll show those real quick as well. I have the flat saw, the flat file, and I have a selection of these. I have five or six different sizes and types of this particular one. Um, this one is basically just to uh, round off the edges on the on the initial cut. Then I have the triangle file. This one here has a, a triangle uh, profile, uh, so it's got three sharp points. This is what I use primarily to cut the grooves. And then when I cut it off, I use a saw blade. Um, now I could put it in my, my miter box, but that means taking it off every time, putting it back on and hoping that it stays in straight. I find honestly that the, um, the saw blade with the drill going cuts that off smooth as butter. Um, so we'll, we'll do a quick demonstration and, uh, and we'll go on from there. Okay, um, so you see what I mean? That, that, that was maybe a minute and a half of my time to make the, the um, I call it the blank, but basically it's it's just the, um, it's the dead eye without the holes drilled in it. Um, so you can see I've got a few of those in my little, my little thing here. Um, oh, knocking my mic around. So we'll put the drill aside. And now I'll show you how I do it with my drill press. All right, um, so I, I've got my drill press all set up. Um, just a word uh, to anybody watching, and you know they say, "Well, yeah, I don't have one of these. Uh, I don't need one of these." One of the best tools I bought. Uh, of course, I love my Dremel; it's an indispensable tool. But the, the drill press with it is just the best thing in the world, especially if you're going to do this kind of work. Um, I just, I find it useful in so many ways. Um, and again, not a product review because frankly, um, there are hundreds of these videos out there, but I mean, you can, you can turn it to do, uh, put a, a sanding drum on there and you can use a sanding station. Um, and just so many useful things you can do with this. And, uh, I love it. Um, so anyway, that being said, we have our blank. And we have a jig I made. Now this basically just allows me to put the put the blank in snugly, so I can drill through, and then press it through when I'm done using a smaller hole in the backside. 
Um, so I'll move the camera down so we can see this clearly. There we go. And uh, we will do the job. Now, um, I think I'm going to have to turn the volume down a little bit. This is kind of a noisy tool, uh, but here we go. There we are. A finished dead eye. Push it out through the bottom. And we got our three holes. I mean, super simple. Uh, you know, I, I, I never thought it would be that easy. You know, I figured uh, I'll uh, I'll just order them. But honestly, the, the rate at which I make these, I could probably have all 120 drilled out and ready, you know, in just a couple hours. Um, my next project, bring the camera back up, we'll slide the We'll slide the drill press back. I've seen a couple videos on YouTube uh, making block and tackles. I thought I'd give it a go. Um, so we have this one here. This is a uh, it's a single. I don't know what they call it exactly. I know there's there's words for the different types of block and tackles, but this one has just the one pulley inside. Now this one's a little bigger than I was looking for, so I, I'm not going to use it, but it was a first attempt, um, you know, just a little test build. Then I made this one, which is considerably smaller. I'll put them right next to each other so you can kind of see what I mean in terms of their size. Um, considerably smaller, really. So this is the one I'm gonna go with. Now, I am gonna make it, this one currently has one little pulley wheel in it. I'm gonna make it with two pulley wheels as well, uh, because I know that uh, many ships have one and two pulley wheels. Uh, so this is gonna be fun. It, it was a lot simpler than I thought it would be. Um, again, my pulley wheels do not move. I know a lot of uh, the ship builders out there, uh, model ship builders, they make them with moving wheels. Um, I see no point in that for my, my purposes. So that's not going to happen for me. Um, but I may do a video on that next time. Uh, there are a lot of videos on how to do that anyway. But it you know, it was interesting and it was a fun little build. And it looks the part. I mean, it really does. And I didn't have to order it. Yeah, I'm going to have to take some time to build these. I'm going to need you know, dozens and dozens of these. But um, I think in the end, I, I, I said it once before. You know, yeah, you could order these parts, but there's something to be said for building them yourself. There really is. Um, you know, it, it, you take the time and the effort to put into it, and you're, you're going to be just that much happier with the results. So uh, I think that's where we are at the moment. Again, I apologize for not putting a video out last week um, or even this week. Uh, I, I'm probably going to be doing videos a little bit more sporadically. I'm um, kind of going through a lot at the moment. Um, not all good. And so I'm, I'm having a hard time finding the enthusiasm or energy to do these sorts of projects. Um, but I, I, you know, I, I got some energy last night during the live stream and I said, ah, I'll give it a shot. And uh, it worked. So I made a video. Um, so look for the next video. I'm hoping on, uh, I might do one on the block and tackles, uh, but I've got the mass done for the pearl. So now that I've got the dead eyes going, it's just a matter of beginning to do the rigging. Um, so that should be fun. I think that's it. Uh, I hope it was informative, at least entertaining. I, I do apologize if I rambled on. Um, so there we go. And thanks for watching.